Hey, Gemma, checking in. Um, I'm like really bored right now. I just got a, I got out of the shower like five minutes ago. I had a mohawk and had to take it down because this so go to stupid Catholic school. Got a week's detention for rocking up with a mohawk. Oh, anyway, um, <clears throat> so I thought to entertain myself. I would tell you um, a story. I don't know what story I'm going to tell you, but oh well. I'm just going to um, start rambling. No, all right. Um, I'll tell you. I was talking about this the other day with a friend, so I'll I'll tell you that. Um, I'll tell you when I f how I first realized I was gay. Actually, it's really hard. It was it was really complicated how I worked it out. Like when I was like six, my mum was watching a documentary on like lesbians, and I was watching it with her, as six year olds do watch lesbian documentaries. Um, and and it said that if you if a girl plays with you know Tonka trucks and stuff like that they will grow up to be gay and then I'm like because I played with trucks all the time I'm just like oh I'm gonna be gay oh my god and then mom was like no 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 you're not you're not little did she know huh. that was actually a very good documentary but anyway anyway um so it was in your night oh okay so you know how like society has drilled into your head ever since you were little that a woman is meant to be with a man and get married and have kids and blah 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 so it's kind of expected and if you it's it's really hard it's really hard to work out because you know if you have any feelings towards a guy whether it be like in that way or just as a really close friend it's just hard to work it out. <clears throat> That's what I had. Like, in year eight, I dated so many guys. And and it didn't last very long. Um, it lasted about two weeks. Like, each boy. <laughs> because, um, yeah, they tried to kiss me. I was just, new. No! Hold up there. New, no, new, no, new, no, new. No. But that was in year eight. And then I thought, I thought that, you know, I wasn't ready to be with anyone. So I'm just like, oh, okay. Didn't really think anything of it. Because you're right, you know. Um, then I had a girlfriend. And you're right. Bitch. I don't exactly enjoy her company. Um, and then I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm bi. Because I still thought I liked guys at that point. And, um. In year nine, I kind of, it kind of went through my head that oh, uh, I've when I like a girl, I like them a lot more and a lot longer than what I do a guy. And then I thought, oh my god, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. And then that just kind of disappeared. <clears throat> and um, I got another boyfriend. <laughs> and um. Um, 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 shit. Ooh, my knee's shaking. Oh, wait, no, no, I didn't get a boyfriend. This was this year, actually. 2011. Um, <clears throat> so I got, I got a girlfriend. And then, um, some things happened. And it wasn't like a big deal, like nothing really crazy, but um, it was enough. And I was like, woo, hello. And um, got pretty into it. And then, and then like a week later, because me and her broke up, I was with a guy. And he, he, was, he was a good looking guy, so it wasn't just I found him unattractive. He was a good looking guy and he was really nice and all that. And then the exact same thing happened with him, what happened with my ex, girl, friend. And th my, my train of thought kind of went, um, wait, 
I should be, wait, no, oh, whatever. It just went basically, you know, I should be getting into this because it's not that, that I'm not ready, it's just that I'm bored. And I'm, <coughs> my voice is breaking. <laughs> um, and it was, it's just like, yeah, I should be getting into this. This happened with this person before. And why, why am I not feeling the same things? And then, then um, I got really confused. I'm like, no, what's happening to me? And then you know, one of my my friends um, kind of helped me out a bit. And she's like, if you don't feel anything physical with a guy, then you're gay. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gay. And um, but in the meantime, like before this happened, I should put this. I'm not really flowing very nicely, am I? But anyway, well. I finally, you know how you come out of the closet, but I came out of the closet, but I didn't fully shut the door behind me, so if someone like confronts me about it, I used to be like, oh, I don't want, I don't know, I don't want, I don't know if I should tell you. Um, I, it wasn't so much I was in denial, it was just, I was, I don't know, I was kind of scared to talk about it, I wasn't like ashamed or anything, but I was just, I was just scared to talk about it um yeah but I think I think the moment that I was okay to actually talk about that was when me and my girlfriend started walking around holding hands at our Catholic school that yep yeah, that's uh I think that was a turning point for me when I'm just like yeah I'm a lesbian and if you don't like it fuck you up the ass because I don't give a shit. Because I am happy and me being gay doesn't change anything about who I am. It actually it actually made me a happier person. So yeah. Anyway, um but this is this is kind of a pointless video. But I'm gonna put it on YouTube anyway, because I'm bored and I wanted to make a YouTube video. Because I'm cool. <laughs> no way in hell am I putting my Hannah Montana videos on again. No. They have like 2,000, no, not 2,000, 2 million views, but pff, I don't care. I copped way too much shit for those. Um, anyway, alright. I'll be back on later, I guess. See ya!